Hey there, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled, Loving Like Jesus, was written by John Blaze. He was loved by all. Those were the words used to describe Giuseppe Berardelli of Casnago, Italy. Giuseppe was a beloved man who rode around town on an old motorbike and always led with the greeting, peace and good. He worked tirelessly on behalf of the good of others. But in the last years of his life, he had health problems that worsened when he was infected by the coronavirus, and he died in the hospital. A friend who knew him for more than 20 years said he would have given up his potential spot in the intensive care unit for another younger patient if he could have. This reveals the character of a man who was loved and admired for loving others. Loved for loving. This is the message the Apostle John keeps sounding throughout his gospel. Being loved and loving others are like a chapel bell that tolls night and day, regardless of weather. And in John 15, they reach somewhat of a zenith, for John lays bare that it's not being loved by all, but loving all that's the greatest love, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Stories of those willing to offer sacrificial love always inspire us, yet they pale in comparison to God's great love. But don't miss the challenge that brings. For Jesus commands in John 15, 12, love each other as I have loved you. Yes, love all. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us and showing us what true love is. Help us to love others with the same kind of self-sacrificial love you have for us. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.